Hi, girls and boys. This is Mrs. Robin for the People and Kids. I'm the science educator here. And in order to celebrate Black History Month, I have this wonderful book to read you. It's called May Among the Stars, and it's by Rhoda Ahmed. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but little May was different. One day May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see the earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see the Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you will have to become an astronaut. That way you can see the Earth from space. An astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it, and if you work hard for it, anything is possible. So May asked her mother to take her to the library and she searched for books about space and about astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, if you believe in it and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. Pages are hard to turn, sorry. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see the earth floating and turning like a shiny crystal ball. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone. And every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in line on the rug. Today, we are going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be? And what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? And the first boy said, I want to be a firefighter. And the next girl said, I want to be a teacher, football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go in space. I want to be an astronaut, said me. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. And here's May thinking about, no, it wouldn't be. She wanted to be an astronaut. She felt, uh, I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. Do you ever get really disappointed? But May got home and at home she started crying. Miss Bell said, I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, her mother said. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. 
My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. She's my teacher. I'm sorry, Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you if you want to follow your dream, May. You can go into space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from my spaceship. Seems really happy now. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard enough for it, anything is possible. Well, May went on dreaming and believing and working really hard in school. And guess what? She went into, her, into space and she waved for her mom and her dad on earth. And it says here, May Carol Jemison was born on October 17, 1956 in Alabama. She graduated from school she enrolled in Stanford University and got a degree in chemical engineering. And then she worked as a doctor before leaving to work with the Peace Corps. But she still had her dream of going into space and she applied to NASA's training program on June 4th, 1987 and she was accepted. And she became the very first African-American female astronaut. And on September 12th, 1992, her dream finally came true when she went into space aboard the shuttle Endeavor on STS-47. And just to show you, here's Mae Jemison, the astronaut. So what do you get from this story? If you dream it, you can do it if you work hard enough. Thanks for listening. Bye, everybody. How do I stop it, Amanda? How do I stop it? Stop recording.